And we're back! You would have seen Tyler's review earlier today of Royster 59's The Allegory. What does that mean as well, Allegory? Oof, I I'll actually forgot to ask you. I'll look it up. I do know it's a word. It but. is a story, poem, or picture that can be interpreted to reveal a hidden meaning. Typically a moral or political one. There you go. There you go. Very, yeah. very fitting. So moving on to mine, I did yeah, Martyr's Prayer by El Camino and 38 Spesh. Um, for those of you who don't know, I didn't know, El Camino is within the group of like West Side Gun, Benny the Butcher, um, all those kind of guys. And then 38 Spesh is a producer. Um, it was a super short project, only like 15 tracks long. Um, with 15, that sounds like a lot. Oh, sorry, 15 minutes long. Oh, 15 minutes. And only three tracks were over two minutes. Mm. I think it was like a total of nine tracks. Um, I think it, it would have been better to be just a little bit longer. Not much, because I think at around the 25-minute mark, it'll become a bit too long. Um, and I'll get into why in just a bit. But I do think I needed more than 15 minutes to properly enjoy it. Um, Elle's lyrics, for the most part, they weren't too in-depth but that doesn't mean that you won't be hearing any knowledge when you listen to this project. Uh, in Get High To, he says, The system ain't built for neighbours, so I don't even vote. Although I'm rich, I won't even boast. I've seen the most. Neighbours rich as hell turn broke. Times get too tough and neighbours turn to dope. Which, yeah. So don't be thinking it's, you know, just boastful rap. There is some knowledge in there. Um, the project only had one feature, and it was from, uh, I think it's pronounced Shane Noir. No idea. C-H-E, and then Noir. Yeah, C-H-E is Che. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So, yeah, Shane Noir. Uh, and she had a great verse, actually. I'll, I'll read out the first bit. She said, Ayo, I rise from the dirt, came out wiping my shirt, neighbor. I'm more than just a ass, titties, thighs, and a skirt. Mate, it sounds a little bit like my Kamaya album. <laughs> so that's how she starts it out. So she automatically says, like, I'm not just a chick <laughs> rapper. I'm a rapper. Yeah. Yeah, which, I, yeah, I really like that. Um, then a little, little bit later, she just goes loose. Uh, I'm trying to eat, but everyone want to bite him a sandwich. We're from the same block, same plot. We're just trying to chase knots, and we hate cops and spray ops. Trying to dodge the raindrops. I'm waiting on one of you rap neighbours to name drop Cause bitch I'm pulling up two strap with like a tank top My life and my rhymes, y'all put lies in y'all rhymes I could tell from when I look at the eyes of these guys All this talk about the money and the rides that y'all drive But go broke from an oil change trying to drive without drive, neighbour And then at the, like on the flip side of that coin At the start of her verse she does say I treat my lyrics like a paintbrush My life is the canvas it just reminds me of that bloody scene in, um, what's that movie called? End of, what is it called? Fuck. The World's End? This is end. the end. Oh, this is when the end. When he's like, oh, your dad's dick, the paintbrush. <laughs> your mom's pussy, the canvas. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's but like, my lyric is the paintbrush, or my lyrics are the paintbrush, my yeah. life is the canvas. Yeah. Does she mean it the other way around? Like my, oh, what did I say? Um, like I treat my lyrics like a canvas. My life is the paintbrush. No. Unless she's talking about like speaking things into this world. Yeah, what she does in, her, she does in real life. Oh, I suppose so actually. Yeah, I didn't think about it that way. There you go. Yeah, okay. I'll, I'll accept that. That's, that's not a great line, but it's not as bad as I thought it was. Um, but yeah, it was a very chill album. 38 did very well setting the atmosphere and keeping it up throughout the album. For the most part, the beats were very simple. Like, um, a couple were just like five second long loops just repeating throughout. But they kept the pace and let you focus on what El Camino was saying, which you know, is why everyone is listening, to hear him. Uh, in Get High To, he repeats, this some shit you could get high to in the outro and there's some very soft trumpet slow piano so it's definitely meant to be like a, a relaxing type album 
but L had a very bad habit of finishing his verse like 30 seconds before the song ended. Bloody child. So at the end of every song, you're sort of breaking out of the atmosphere to skip the song or like just listen to the beat if you're, you know, if you're not feeling like skipping. And with it only being 15 minutes, by the time you sort of, your muscles relax and you're properly unwinding, the last track's coming on. So I, I did enjoy listening to it. Uh, it was nothing groundbreaking, a nice change of pace, but I do think a little bit more length would be good. But I, I think a bit of length. <laughs> I think uh, with an album that's not content heavy and is just you know, meant to relax you, I think anything longer than 25 minutes is too long at that point. But yeah, I'm glad I listened to this. It was nice. So I'm I'm rating this one a six out of ten. There you go. So be sure to check or tune in tomorrow. We've got the sneaker releases as well as our track review. You're gonna to want to see them. We'll see you then. That's a wrap.